going to show you how to draw a yellow perch. The yellow perch has a body that's a little bit wider in the middle than it is towards the ends. It's pointy or tapered at the ends, kind of like the shape of an almond or a lemon. Next, I'm going to make the tail. The tail on a yellow perch comes to a, a small sort of rectangle. Then it has a large triangular shape on the bottom and lines to show that that fish tail can move and wiggle while the fish is swimming. Now I'm going to make all of the fins. A yellow perch has two fins on its back, two fins underneath, and one on the side. The one on the very top of the back has spikes on it so that if another fish tries to attack it, it can protect itself. I'm going to start by making the fin on the back. It's kind of like a rectangle but rounded on the edges and points towards the back at a diagonal. Now I'm going to make the one that's on the very top, his dorsal fin. This is the one that has spikes. So I'm going to start with the first spike and then make the last spike. They're going to be spikes in between that get smaller and smaller and smaller. Now I'm going to make kind of a rounded shape that connects those spikes to the back of the fish. The next fin I'm going to make is the one here at the back. It's shaped kind of rectangular, but angles back towards the tail. And this one is shaped kind of triangular, and it's shaped angled back towards the tail of the fish also. The one here on the front of the fish starts with a letter C. Then we're going to make a large oval around it and give it lines to show that it can wiggle and move while the fish is swimming. Next I'm going to make the shapes around the head of my fish, the gills. Gills are what allow a fish to breathe underwater. The first gill I'm going to make is like an arrow pointing towards the back of the fish. Then there's another arrow inside and the last one is a long letter J. It's actually a backwards letter J. Now I'm going to make the eye of the fish one circle inside of another circle with a tiny circle inside. Now I want to make his mouth. His mouth is made by what looks like a heart laying down sideways and then a loop at the back of the mouth. I need to make the important markings on a yellow perch. A yellow perch has dark stripes on its back that are fat and get skinnier. What letter is that? Oh, I see, it's like a letter V. I'm gonna make long letter Vs on the back of my yellow perch. The last thing I want to do is show that he has scales. Remember, the scales of a fish are like our fingernails. They protect the fish so that it doesn't scrape on the bottom of the ocean or the river. I'm going to make his scales on his belly just straight lines. In this case, they're kind of like a backwards number three. When you color your yellow perch, the body will be yellow, but these stripes will be dark brown or black. I hope you enjoy making a yellow perch.